I haven't updated my profile photo in a while, so I thought it'd be great to kind of bring you guys along with me to talk about why it's good to take photos of yourself, especially as a con content creator, photographer, and everything like that, while getting a photo of myself for my social medias. Today, I'm gonna to be using the Fuji GFX50 S Mark II to take some photos of myself. See, we have it right here set up. Looks just so lovely. And um, well, this is just gonna be with one light over here, camera straight up into it, background right there. It's gonna be zoomed in so that it's just more of a headshot style. Because to be honest, what I'm trying to do is just have a little bit of a revamp for my social media since I think it's good to just revamp yourself every once in a while, just to keep your audience kind of going and seeing that you've changed your stuff just so that you see, you know, a purpose to come back to see you. Now, I know it might sound silly just to go ahead and do a whole video on it or maybe just for photos like that, but I think it'll be fun to show you a little bit of the behind the scenes of how I would take these you know, self portraits, kind of studio style of portraits as well. In case you're wondering how good this camera could be if you're wanting to do your portraits for with like a medium format type of camera, especially not the newest one of the GFX line. So maybe it'll make you want to get one. Who knows? But for me, it's fun. So the first things first of why you should be taking photos of yourself is really just to help yourself to feel comfortable in front of a camera. Because if you know how to teach yourself to be comfortable in front of a camera, you can help others as well, especially if you're trying to do photography for a job. Personally, for me, I like to make sure that I feel, you know, comfortable with knowing how to pose myself and what could I tell somebody if I was my own client or anything like that when I'm taking photos of myself. I obviously want to feel as natural and as, as nice as possible as I can to ensure that I have the best photo that represents myself. When it comes down to portraits or anything of photography of yourself, it's basically representing yourself as your own brand. And if you're not kind of having a realistic or just more legitimate type of photo of yourself, it's not gonna be as genuine as it should be. So it's not really representing who you are. And ultimately, as a photographer, that's our job to do is to get those candid moments of how it would be to represent who you would be and feel happy with the photo result. Because I believe that you should be able to capture that essence of somebody. And that's the whole point what I'm gonna be trying to do for myself to have something that'll represent me. It's obviously a lot harder to do when you do self portraits because you have to kind of have the gear, set it up, kind of have to find the angles and everything while you're sitting down and everything. So it's gonna be a little bit interesting to find out how it'll work out, but that's the ultimate thing when it comes down to this, a lot of trial and error, and that'll teach us the next thing. When it comes down to taking photos of yourself, it teaches you that patience. Patience in finding the right settings, the right lighting, the right angle, whether it's the right posing and everything, Having that kind of patience when it comes into creating content, especially with portraits with other people that you have to deal with is always a big plus. That's one of the reasons why I think that you should be taking photos of yourself and why I'm doing this. For me, the main thing is to be able to take photos while I'm just, you know, sitting down, whether it's I'm using my phone as my kind of like the trigger thing so I can set it up and see how it's looking to set up the camera and that aspect. That's the whole ultimate goal when it comes down to this. It's finding that patience of it because especially using this camera, it is a little bit of a slower system compared to my Sony kind of line of brands of for photos for autofocus with the application kind of integration. So it's always good to be a patient person. Anyways, here are the first round of photos that I was able to take on these self portraits to get myself as comfortable as possible in front of the camera. So far, these are looking Kind of nice, but we're going to try to keep moving with some angles to see if I can capture anything else that might capture my eye because I'm right now just obviously taking as many examples as I can since I'm looking just at my phone with what the photos might look like. So we're going to go ahead and just try to move things around a little bit of my body, see what else I can capture because my main goal is to have something with the orange background. I don't want to have much of anything else because it's just something different for me that I want to kind of keep a color that just makes sense for me. And right now I've been enjoying orange. I've been, you know, having my orange camera bags and things like that. So might as well keep it consistent. So the main thing is just to keep doing the trial and error. And for me it was just to add a new element to the photos with the camera, just to see if I wanted to have something that, you know, said I'm a photographer for, you know, the branding. So just went ahead and got a couple more portraits like these.
and of course the final thing of why i'm doing this is because it's good to be able to have memories of yourself have photos of yourself i always think that it's good to have something of every moment and chapter of your life and for me whether it's taking a portrait or taking photos while i'm out in an adventure whether it's with my wife by myself or anything having myself in it is always nice to have it to look back upon in the future we don't know obviously how long our time can be with life and without getting too in depth with it but you know for me for example with my father passing a couple almost two years now i wish i had more photos with him and everything like that despite having quite a bit it's just towards the end of the chapters he didn't really want to you know obviously he didn't feel like himself and everything and that's understandable and for me i want to have enough memories and captures of things that I can look back upon in the future, whether it's to see how I look when I was at this stage of my life or younger or anything. And that's something that I think as photographers and content creators, you want to do more of because as photographers, we tend to be behind the camera more. We don't tend to be in front of it. And getting to do this as a little self-practice is always nice to be able to kind of capture that. But now that we're done taking all our portraits of myself and looking them over and everything, I just wanted to say that it's a different process, which is something that it's supposed to be that way so that you learn everything that we kind of covered in this video. It's good to be able to feel comfortable in front of the camera so you can help others feel comfortable. It's good to find that patience and everything whenever you're trying to do your photography because sometimes things might not go your way. So finding that patience and kind of rhythm to figure out problem solving everything, especially if like, for example, how I had to do with this camera setup that's a lot slower than my Sony line. It's always something great. Plus now I have memories to look back upon. Obviously today is not too much of a memory centered kind of photos, but more like a portrait kind of studio style because I need some new portraits for my social media game. I just wanted to kind of do this video because that's something I still find important. It's good to be able to kind of set yourself up to feel that comfort that you want your clients to feel if you're wanting to do more portrait photography to find the way of solutions and patience and everything to become the best photographer that you can for your client and for yourself. So ultimately, that's the whole purpose of doing this video, taking even this camera for the portraits, because despite of it being medium format and looking so crispy nice, it's a slower model of a photo camera that it comes down to like in difference of my Sony line of cameras with the app and everything. So a lot of patience was having to be done with this camera because of the system of how it works with connecting it to my phone a lot slower and everything but it still did what I needed to do and it helped me just kind of work with the lighting, work with the movements of my posing and the angles and everything while I had this camera just do the job that I needed to do while I also found myself to do the job that I needed to do for myself. Hopefully it helps you out and you got something out of this video and you know, you, you're gonna go ahead and take photos more of yourself because like I said, as as photographers, we're always behind the camera. Sometimes we have to be in front of it to just get better at it, get more comfortable so that we can bring our A plus for our clients and for anything that we wanna post online or anywhere that you want to. But with all that said and done guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe, share this video with a friend. I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.